How's everybody doing? It's Streets coming back at you with another Red Dead Redemption 2 on this Friday morning. Hope this video finds you and your family happy and healthy in life, and I hope life's treating you great. Remember, life is a journey. Enjoy it. Thank you to everybody that does like and subscribe and notify or comments and all that good stuff on the videos. We just game together and have fun together. Looks like we're going to go hunt with Charles on this episode, so let's see what happens with that. What you prepare for? The greatest of gifts. An unguarded stagecoach. <laughs> no, you simple-minded fool. Bison. Bison? Bison. From which you can get anything. There's some over on the plains, I believe. I saw a couple a long way off. Oh. Right? Good luck. You want to come with me? I'll show you how we hunt one. Sure. Why not? All right, we're hunting bison. Round up then. Let's go. Get on our horse. Come on, Arthur. Hey, boy. This ought to be interesting. You know, it was before my time, of course, but my mother used to tell me stories of how her tribe moved with the bison. They lived almost as one. When the bison went, my people went. They were the center of all life. We couldn't survive without them. They provided us with everything. Food, clothing, shelter, tools. There was a lot of respect. Huh. I don't remember much of my childhood, but I think my people, well, we pretty much moved with the whiskey. <laughs> well, my father did that too. Let's try over here to the left. All right, gonna sh hunt some bison. Buffalo. Pull that around. Oh. You see them all? Incredible, aren't they? We should only kill one of them. I'll keep them ringed in and you see if you can bring one down. Okay? Clean as you can. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> Use this one. Yep. Ooh. Skin and butcher it. And take the horns too. It can all be used. This thing's huge. Easy boy. Gotta be done. Dang, I made him naked Good quick. Job. Stow that on your horse and mount up. I wanna go check something out. Okay, let's go. Where are we going? I thought. I saw some scavenger birds over here. Just wanted to see what attracted him. Easy there, easy. <laughs> Been a snake or something here. He's getting all freaked out. No. Look. Bison. Shot and left for dead, it looks like. Why would someone do that? I don't know. But I see tracks heading in this direction. I say we follow him. All right. Lead the way. Follow. I think it's Javier we're with here. He's dead. Could it have been an animal? No, they've been shot. I just don't know why anybody would just leave them here to rot like that. Guess we're about to find out. They're Look, not gonna like another us. Another dead bison on the hill to the right. Come on. Shot and left for dead again. But this one looks fresher. There's a camp there. I'm gonna take a look. Thought we were looking at the bison. since they left. Bison's been dead about the same amount of time. So what do you want to do? They could still be in the area. Let's get up higher. 
see if we spot anything. Alrighty. Watch well, Charles. This way. We should have a good view from up here. Let's see if we can find out who's killing these things. Okay. You see anything? See some smoke. To the east. Hold on. There's some smoke to the east. Maybe another camp. It's worth a look. All right. Let's go. Bastards. Just killing for fun. Think we can talk? I don't kill for fun. I kill when I need to. Except for people. Oh, I guess we kill them when we need to. We don't just go kill them. Look, more dead bison. It has to be that. Come on, wait up. Did you fools shoot those bison? What's your problem? I said. Did you fools shoot those bison? Calm down, you black or red bastard, whatever the fuck you are. Did you shoot them? Yes, we did. We shot them bison. We'll shoot you too if you don't get. What business is it of yours? What? We. <gasps> it's that business of mine! Good God, you're crazy! Look, I got a family. A family. Don't shoot me. Stand back, Charles. I'll get you some answers. What the hell are you doing? Why are you killing those bison and leaving them to rot? I don't know what you're talking about. God damn it, tell us and you're dead. Oh, okay. We were paid to kill as many as we could and make it look like it was Indians. Just kill him, Arthur. No, please don't kill me. I'm begging you. All right, get out of here. Just, don't, don't shoot me, mister. I got a family. Then run away. Why did you do that? He didn't need to die. Maybe he'll go tell his friends now what happens to poachers. I've seen enough of this. I'm heading back. Okay. I'm going to see if there's anything worth taking from their camp. I'll catch up with you later. He wanted to kill him. See what we got in here. Horse reviver. Don't need that. I think there'd be something in this one, man. Do a knife poison knife pamphlet. Alright, we're gone. Boy. I think we got enough time. Maybe. Where's John? Let's go find John and see what he wants. Or you know what? Let's go right here real quick. Nope. Dang it. Sorry about that. Let's get rid of this stuff on our horse. Let's go here. There we go. Idiot. Come on, boy. Going straight across. Straight for camp. If we can. Going straight for camp. Oh, here's a stranger up here. What they got? Somewhere. Got up here. Hey there, friend. Come on. Stop on by for a moment. Okay. The name's William. Mm 
All right, William. Arthur, you familiar with the study of plants, my friend? Familiar ain't quite the word I'd use. Well, let me tell you. This great earth beneath our feet can provide everything man ever needs. But we've only reached a tiny bit of its potential. You see, there are thousands, maybe millions of plants all across this vast country we share. The mountains, the plains, the swamps. I mean to explore them all, to know all of nature's bounty and all of her wonder, if I can. Sure. But I'm only one man. Would you consider helping me with gathering herbs for my studies? Why? Knowledge, kindness, beauty. Well, I'm ignorant, ugly, and nasty. <laughs> well, let's see if maybe we can do something about that. I'll see. <laughs> Okay. I'm looking for a plant called yarrow. You can distinguish it by its red flowers. It shouldn't be too hard to find. They thrive out in the open under direct sunlight. I got some. Here you go. <laughs> Let's see how this tastes. Oh, yeah. I feel better already. They were right. This stuff does have medicinal properties. Cool. You've been helpful. Thank you. You're a horseman, I know. You'll want to have this on. This can cure almost all maladies to your animal, natural uh, and otherwise. Don't ask how. Now, if you don't mind, I'll be getting back to my studies. I look forward to our next meeting, traveler. All right. No, I don't mind. See you, partner. Let's clean up our horse here. Okay, what? let's get on him. See you, buddy. Our destination. Get rid of all this. Oh, gosh dang. Oh, hang on. Oh, yeah. Get rid of all this meat and all that for camp probably use it we don't get taken off the horse here which we could I don't want to remove the bison pelt I'll just Sell it to him. Much better. Thought those mountains were gonna kill me. Seems I'll live a while yet. Oh, I know. Good day, Mr. Morgan. Good day. Jack, you are a sad. Good morning. Bring me something soon if you can, Arthur. I'm sorry. It's okay, Ma. I ain't much of a mother. Sorry. I'll get some money and get you some new ones. Don't you overcook this now, Pearson. <laughs> I know. Good job, Mr. Morgan. You'll get us out of this. We are out of this. We need to All get right. out of it. So what do you think? Let's do so one some those cutting wood real quick. The Build that up. Build up our dead eye. Yeah, this game's fun. I hope you guys like it. Try not to talk over the people and all that good stuff, so. We're slowly making it through the story, I guess. It's a pretty good storyline, really. 
comes that Micah guy. I know him and Arthur don't get along too well. That's it, Cowpoke. Get it all. We know that. Chop that wood up, Arthur. Good job. He's got it. We're at fifty percent dead eye, that's pretty good. Alright, I'm gonna leave the episode here and next time we'll go see what John's up to, I guess, in the next episode. You guys have a great rest of your week. Enjoy your weekend and the streets is out.